Hey, what is up everybody? It is AJ here and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how you can snap windows to the left and right on Mac OS. Microsoft has been able to snap programs to the left and right ever since Windows 7, but unfortunately in Mac OS, even in 2022, it isn't as simple as the Windows counterpart. But that's okay, because in this video, we're not gonna download any extra programs, softwares or features. We're just gonna change some settings and add some keyboard shortcuts so we can snap windows to the left and the right. Of course, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to supercharge where you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. With that being said, let's get into this. So I want to show you first what this looks like by using the mouse on Mac OS. We're just gonna open up Microsoft Edge and Google Chrome. Basically two programs, oh, this is already in full screen. Um, two programs that we're gonna just snap left and right using the mouse. What you have to do is actually get your mouse, hover it in the top left-hand corner in the green button, and wait for it to actually give you the option to snap it left or right. And as you can see here, it actually didn't give me the option until I got off it, then went back on, kind of annoying. Then you have a few options options here, such as entering full screen, tile the window to the left of the screen or move it to the left, tile it to the right of the screen or move it to the right. I'm gonna go tile screen, tile window to the right of screen, and it's gonna snap it to the right-hand side of the screen. Then it's gonna say what programs you want on the left. I only have one other program open, which is Edge, and we're simply gonna open up Edge. So you can see that's how you do it with your mouse. To get out of this, you've gotta, again, lift your mouse to the top of the screen, go over to that green icon, and then hit the subtract button, and that's gonna pull the programs out of the full screen mode or split screen and back to your desktop. It's kind of annoying when you're using multiple programs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn how to use the keyboard shortcuts so you can be a bit quicker when you're wanting to snap programs left and right. So what you wanna do is go into the Apple menu in the top left-hand corner and go down to where it says System Preferences. In System Preferences, we are gonna go over to the keyboard section or you can simply type in shortcut to get here. Um, next, you wanna go over to the option in the middle which is Shortcuts and it's gonna take you to this section here. On the left-hand side, you wanna go through all the icons and down the bottom, you have the app shortcuts, which we're gonna select. And you can see here, I've already added a few app shortcuts. This one here is called tile window to the right of screen, move window to desktop or tile window to the left of screen. And as you can tell, these are exactly what we did just before using the mouse, but now I've put keyboard shortcuts in instead. So I'm gonna just remove this one and then re-add it to show you exactly how you can add it in. So I'm gonna hit the plus button. And what you have to do is you have to put the action in exactly as the Mac OS would call it as an action. So what they call it is, if you hover over here, it is called tile window to right of screen or tile window to left of screen. So we're gonna jump over here and we're gonna call it tile window to left of screen and then it's gonna ask you to put in the keyboard shortcut. So basically you can control and you can pick the commands you want to tile this to the left or to the right. I actually like the options of control, command and left. So when I press control, command and left, it's gonna throw this program over to the left and of course control, command and right over to the right. I'm gonna hit add. And now I've got the option here of tile window to left of screen. So check this out. I've got my Microsoft Edge open and I'm gonna press Control, Command, Left, and it's gonna push it over to the left-hand side of the screen. Uh, I've closed Chrome, so it's not there again, um, but I'll show you. I'll go grab uh, Chrome, and we'll get out of full screen mode, and I'll show you that again. If I go Control, Command, Right, it's gonna snap Chrome to the right, and then of course, it's gonna say, what program do you want on the left? Well, I'm gonna say Edge, and it's gonna go Microsoft Edge on the left. So here we've now entered into full screen mode and it's given us one program on the left and one program on the right. The, this is good and you can keep it like this, but the other thing I wanna show you is how you can quickly snap out of this full screen mode and bring these programs back onto your desktop. So again, if you wanted to use the mouse for this, you'd have to hover over and press the green icon and then you can just go move to desktop or you can add another keyboard shortcut to it. The keyboard shortcut I chose, which I'll show you, um, for move window to desktop is control, command, and up. So if I jump back to our split screen here with Chrome, I'm just gonna press control, command, and up, and it's gonna throw the program back onto my desktop. So instead of having to always get my mouse, go to the top left-hand corner, and then selecting on one of these options, 
we now have the quick option of control command and left to tile it to the left to the right and then control command and up to bring it back to full screen onto the desktop it's not as nice and it's not as smooth as microsoft having this built into their operating system but it really is a better way than always having to use your mouse to tile and untile these windows. And of course, you don't have to use the commands that I chose. You can have different shortcut keys for different actions that you want. And you can, of course, go and create your own. So there you guys have it. That is how you can quickly snap windows to the left and the right in Mac OS using keyboard shortcuts. I really hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And of course, if you're in a supercharged the way you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.